This video demonstrates how to add a new grading scale to your course. In the left navigation area of any page in your course, click here to open the Grade Setup page. The scales and rubrics are located here on the right side of the page. Those with locks were created for use across our entire organization, and teachers cannot edit those scales. Scales you create in your course are available only in this course. However, you can copy your grade settings to another course in which you are admin. To create a new scale, make sure Scales is shown here in black. Click Add and choose Scale. Today we will use a percentage scale. This can be a bit confusing. The type of scale, scale we are viewing is displayed in black here. Click on the blue link to switch to a points scale. I will name this scale proficiency, and I'm going to um, add some grade levels here. In this letter grade box, you can type the letter grade or term you want. The box will take letters, words, or even symbols. So I'm going to start by adding some grade levels. This scale is going to have three um, levels. The first one is above proficient, the second is proficient, and the third level is below proficient. Now I will set the percentage range for um, each. So I'm going to do 85. 70, and notice that Schoology automatically adds the um, number on the right here. Okay. When you hover here, you can see that this actually means less than 85. Same thing here, less than 70. The letter conversion is the percentage value that the gradebook assigns. So your student may earn above proficient in the assignment, but the gradebook will assign a percentage value to average in with the other student grades. You have a couple of options here with the letter conversion. If you check this box, um, School G will automatically um, assign the average of this range. So let me check that and show you what that looks like. So 92 is the, the midpoint between 85 and 100%. So this is what it looks like if you allow Schoology to do that. If I uncheck it though, I can put whatever I want here. So I can assign 100% to that and 84 to that and 65 to that. The last thing to choose is whether you want to only show the letter grade on the student grade report. If you hover here on this little question mark, you see the explanation that if checked, the numeric value of the grade will be hidden from the students. And for this type of scale, I do want it to do that. I want them only to see the above proficient, proficient, or below proficient. Once you have um, this just the way you want it, go ahead and click Save Changes. And so there's our new um, Scale. And if I click on that to view it, this is what it looks like here. Your student in the grade report will see as a letter grade the words above proficient, proficient, or below proficient. A quick tip for grading, click the star icon for the, um, to mark the default uh, grading scale for newly created materials. Of course, you can change to another scale in any assignment. 